Let the redeemed of the Lord shout a wonderful hallelujah. That hallelujah is standing on one leg. I want you to jump up and rise on your feet and shout hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. Pastor Dari, my husband, was a wonderful person. He was amazing in every sense of the way. I do not mourn him at all. I weep because he left me. He slept. He did not die. He did not die. And I know, I am sure, because on the resurrection morning, he will rise again and we will see him in glory. I'm sure because he was saved. I'm sure because he believed in Christ. His salvation was sure. It was certain. He said, if I die today, I know I am fulfilled. I have done what the Lord has asked me to do. He was not afraid of death. He was not afraid. It is not a matter of how short. It is not a matter of time, but how well. And he lived well. He lived a good life. He lived to the glory of God. He lived, he served God. His life was dedicated to Christ. And that is why I, I am sure that he is in heaven. I am sure that he made it. And I want to say, brethren, today, that if you are not sure of your salvation, if you are not sure that if you sleep tonight, you might not wake up tomorrow, you are not sure of where you will be in eternity, you have not given your life to Christ at all. If you are here today, you heard, and perhaps you just came to see. Yes, it's true. He is sleeping in the Lord. But are you sure of yourself? Are you sure of where you will be? Are you sure of eternity? You haven't given your life to Christ or perhaps you did and, take, and took it back from him. I want you to raise your right hand this evening. If you are not sure of your salvation, you are not sure you are going to sleep in the Lord. You are not sure of where you are going to end up. You are afraid to die because you are not living a holy life. If you are afraid to die because you are not saved, because the devil is still in control of your life, I want you to raise your right hand up this evening. Wherever you are, just raise, it, raise your right hand up. Raise it up and let the Lord save you today. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. You are not going to die. You are not going to die. I want you to be saved just as my husband was saved. I want you to make it. I want you to be sure of yourself. I want you to live your life fully for Jesus. I want you to rededicate your life to him if you, if you, are, if you were once saved. I want you to tell him, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. Please save me. I want to surrender my life back to you. Help me, because I cannot do this on my own. That if you come before tomorrow morning, I will reign with you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you everyone that have come to honor God in his life. Thank you for coming. And I pray that the Almighty God will reward us all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord.